Hi Graham. So, tell me, what are people doing wrong in life these days? Oh, my word. I, I think you've just got to define this word wrong because there is no right and wrong. But if we're looking for business success, there are some things that you can do which increase your chances of success. And there are probably some things you can do wrong that probably reduce your chances of success. Uh, I think that definitely one of the things most people do wrong in that context is they don't know what they really want. So, so they have this sort of paradox where they're saying I'm not happy and I've not got what I want out of life and then you sit them down and say okay let's get what you want, what do you want and then you get all these vague answers like well I want to be happy, yeah, I just want to be comfortable. Okay, and, so how do you define a goal? Well you've got to question it more, you know you, if you've got a goal you've got to sit there and say is that sufficient, like to be rich is not a goal. To be on a specific amount of money each month with a specific amount in reserve that gives you X amount of months without worry, that's a specific goal. And, and one of the constant needs is more to be more specific. So to define a goal, I want 10 grand a month, I want 15 grand a month. It's got to have a figure to it and then give yourself a time frame. So I, I recognise I can't go from 2,000 a month to 10 grand a month. I qualify the word can't because anything's possible, but there may be some things you've got to put into place first. So, so chunk it down into some steps. Correct, chunk it down. Take it down into, so well, okay, if you're on two grand a month now and you want 10 grand a month, let's look at your skills, let's look at the potential avenues, let's look at a, a product or service and say, where are the markets, what skills and resources do I need, where's my first step? Okay, so how do you help people define that first step? Um, Sometimes, Graham, the definition of the step is self-expansion because there'll be a need, there'll be an event that's happening, there'll be a health care issue, there'll be a child care issue. Sometimes there are external circumstances dictating time frames. But if we said a more normal situation, how, how do we help put that first? I think you've got to go with what's in your heart. You know, too often we, we, we'd focus on external society goals. We want what we think we want. And when you pull people back in and I say to you, you know, as a person, what makes you happy? Where's your passion? What could you do all day if you weren't getting paid for it? That's where I'd start. So how do people uh, self-sabotage then? I think, to a degree, everybody's brought up in a world with, with where we absorb beliefs and, and what we think is right or wrong from those around us. So for example, if you're brought up in an environment where there are shortages, you think that there's no love, you see nothing but anger, you see nothing but fights, you think that there's a cultural thing where nobody loves you, they don't give you any attention. When you go into adult life, that can hold you back, so you can start thriving on, on a bit of love, and then you can suddenly have this, no, I can't get too used to it, because, it, because I, I don't believe it's gonna last. So. Rather than it be taken from me, I'm going to harden and then I won't get hurt. And in fact, in that moment, we start to sabotage it going away and we self-sabotage. So it becomes a prophecy, it goes and we go, wow, well, that's what I expected because that's what I think is the belief. Do you think people give up too early usually? Yeah. Oh yeah, because, because it's that belief system. Am I going to get it? Well, how long are you supposed to get it for? Well, I've, you know, I don't want to waste my whole life. I don't want to keep going for 20 years. I mean, if I, if I, it doesn't help, of course, with modern technology. We've got instant messenger, instant gratification with internet searches. If it doesn't happen straight away, we have this false belief. Um, but yeah, how long is too long? How long is long enough? They're tough questions because cause it, if we go back 20 years, Graham, you and I would build a business and we'd expect not to make any money in the first year, probably not the second. We'd expect culturally things to grow over time, but hey, there's no rush. You don't get that now. Everything from a banking environment of, of return on investment, everything around us says, well, you should be known by now. We're taught instant with internet and email, and if you're not making money in the third month, something's wrong. Now there's a can of worms. Yeah, what does it take to become successful? How long? You see, I, I, I think that you can, again, you and I, we can, from, we, we can say in our world, there's a frame, a frame of reference. But what's that frame of reference come from? Where is your frame of reference? It's past. So you may have a frame of reference that's built on a lot of good experience, but 15 years ago, the dynamic of the world's changed. That is no longer a relevant experience. So you can go forward based on something. It's a bit like driving, as you'll have heard before, driving forward, looking in the rear view mirror. You can't do it, you're gonna crash. 
So um, the challenge is to find a modern reference that suits and put something into place, an expectation that's, that's accurate. So you're talking about mentorship and things like that? You know, if you look at all of us, we, we, we go to any area of our life, it could be just learning the language, learning to walk when we're small. Uh, we only learn by copying. The best way for us to learn is model. So if you, if you want to learn a specific skill like business success, you've got a number of choices. You can go to a lot of people. You could go to nobody and just read. But sooner or later, if you really want to succeed, you've got to follow something that's in your field and somebody's gone before and it's relevant, accurate, recent history. So the best advice anyone could, in my opinion, the best advice you could ever do is find someone that is a league or two above and see if you can get them to work with you to pull you up.